Putin yesterday uh, said it was going to um, extradite um, a guy that Turkey wants. Um, he's, 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 he's got links to the PKK. Um, he's done other things. Um, so d does, does the administration see, perhaps, I was about to say a fall. Does the administration, oh, gosh. No, I won't, I won't. <laughs> Let's is, not is, do that again. Perhaps see a, um, you, you, you know, a, 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 a resolution of this uh, dispute between Turkey and Sweden, maybe in time for the summit. So a, a couple of things. So Sweden has fulfilled its commitments. Uh, they made under the trilateral uh, memorandum of agreement, agreed with Finland and Turkey on the margins of the NATO summit, and they did that in Madrid just this past year, or last year. Uh, in 2022. This includes Sweden's recent passage of enhanced and counter-terrorism legislation. So look, Sweden is a strong, uh, capable defense partner that shares NATO's uh, values and will strengthen the alliance and contribute to the European security. So we believe, and you've heard from this president uh, multiple times, that we believe Sweden should become a NATO member as soon as possible. That is what the president has said. He has shown his support. Uh, that is what we've seen from Congress as well. And so look, we're going to continue uh, to uh, Stay steadfast on that. Uh, look, we're going to continue to be hopeful. As you know, this is a president that's incredibly uh, uh, hopeful and positive about these things. Uh, and so we believe that, again, they are strong, capable uh, uh, defense partner that, that share the, the, the values of the NATO, uh, the NATO alliance. And so I think that's important. And a very quick Trump one, if I might, not a, not a legal one. Um, um, the, the president, as the president, uh, is president for everybody, obviously, and uh, he's going to be running for re-election, asking for votes from everybody. Um, uh, you, you, you've, got, you've got somebody who is leading uh, a movement which is almost based on saying that every single thing that is happening now in this administration is illegal and you know, literally, I mean, they say communists are taking over the country, etc. I mean, you, you can make a long list of the things they're saying, very extreme things. So what is the president's message to all of those people who are actually Americans and, you know, he would like to vote for him, presumably, um, and are being, you know, there's, there's a, surely a messaging war. What's his message? Well, I just took a couple of questions from your colleagues about the Hatch Act in 2024. So I'm going to follow and the, follow the law and be very careful and not talk about the Hatch Act. And we're going to respect it and do uh, and do everything that we can to do that. What I will say more broadly, and I'm going back to when the president ran in 2020 and what he ran on, right? He ran on bringing the country together. Uh, he ran on fighting for the soul of the nation. And that's what the president has been doing for the last two years. He believes that that is important to bring everybody together. As you just stated in your question, he's a president for everyone, red state, blue state. It doesn't matter. He understands what it means. He was vice president, right? He was, he's been a senator. So he understands what that means, what it means uh, to be a president of, of these United States. So it's very important that he continues to do that, continue to bring the country together. You've heard him talk about this, uh, really make critical, important uh, speeches on this very point. Uh, and so he, that's going to be continue to be his message, bringing the country together. Uh, you, t you hear him talk about possibilities. You hear him talk about the future of this country and how we need to continue to, uh, to live up to uh, our greatness. And so that's what you're going to hear. That's going to be the message to, this, uh, to, to the American people. That has not changed. And so I'll leave it there. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry.